welcome back to the program Coffee Break with the Ambassador. Now, in this episode, I'm going to do a little bit different from the previous episodes. Now, I'm in France to talk with the Indonesian Ambassador to France, His Excellency Hot Mangaraja Panjaitan. Now, come and follow me. Friends, Indonesia relations are foreign bilateral relations between the French Republic and the Republic of Indonesia. The indirect relation between France and Indonesia was commenced during early 19th century colonial Dutch East Indies. Since 2011, both nations have formed a strategic partnership. The relations between two nations are important as both are democratic republics and both hold significant geopolitical influences in each region. France is a key member of European Union as well as Indonesia for ASEAN. Both nations are members of G20 major economies. France has maintained a development cooperation program with Indonesia for many years. For 30 years between 1967 and 2007, France provided aid to Indonesia within the international coordination arrangements established under the Intergovernmental Group on Indonesia and the Consultative Group on Indonesia, or CGI. In 2011, the bilateral trade between France and Indonesia amounting to 2.5 billion US dollars and France is the 13th largest investor in Indonesia. Indonesia imports from France includes aircraft equipment, machine and computer, electronic and precision equipment, chemical, cosmetic and perfume, food, metal and metallurgical products, and pharmaceuticals. On the other hand, France imports from Indonesia includes agricultural, silvicultural, and fishery products, textiles, and footwear. of Indonesia in Paris is the diplomatic missions of Indonesia in France. The embassy is accredited to France, Monaco and Andorra. The ambassador has been Hotmangaraja Panjaitan since 2015. Hotmangaraja Panjaitan is ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of Indonesia to France and permanent delegate to UNESCO. Before, he was a high-ranking officer in the Indonesian army. Hotman Garaja Panjaitan was trusted by Indonesian President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono or SBY as the ambassador of UNESCO, concurrently ambassador to the countries of France, Andorra and Monaco. The man born in Palembang, South Sumatra, October 14, 1953, the former secretary of the Kemenko Polhukam was the son of the hero of the Indonesian Revolution, Major General V.I. Panjaitan. Hotma came from the unit of infantry that barracks for Kopassus force in 1977. Yeah. 
Well, Your Excellency, thank you very much for having us here in your elegant, nice residence in Paris. Uh, how are you today, Your Excellency? I'm fine. Uh, ready to do the work for the country. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, Your Excellency, um, how did you first start posting here in uh, France? So, actually, I already almost four years here. I was uh, uh, inaugurated in October 2014, and I arrived at, in December 2014. And I uh, submit my credential to the President of France in February. Yeah. So uh, it's almost four years yeah, now. So almost four years. So it seems to be maybe very fine. <laughs> okay. Well. When you first uh, assigned here and um, to post here in France, what was the uh, the most uh, or the significant uh, uh, job that the president would like you to do here? Yes. So when I was inaugurated, then I was uh, we get there's 20 of us in my batch. Mm. We got the briefing from mm. uh, President Joko Widodo. Mm. The president underlined very much on the economy. The, we have to try as much as possible to the respective country in a bilateral relation to to have or to enhance the export from Indonesia to uh, our respective countries and uh, to ease up the uh, or increase the investment from uh, French to Indonesia. Yeah, Your said this year marks the 68th uh, relationship, diplomatic relationship between Indonesia and France. Yeah. Uh, in a big picture, how do you see this long uh, standing partnership? France and Indonesia is a long uh, standing relation. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, already even in the strategic partnership. Uh, 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 relation, so which was signed in 2011. Uh, consists of a uh, strategic relation in uh, politics, economic, uh, in culture, and education. Mm. So, meaning that uh, Indonesia and France doesn't it is not only uh, regular regulation mm. as a friendly country, but already strategic. So, we try to plan even more how we do uh, or to enhance, enhance our relations. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do since uh, 2011 and for me since 2014, 15 I, I start to uh, communicate, uh, to meet uh, the officials and ministries from uh, France in order to have this uh, mandate for uh, us to be achieved. Yeah. Last July this year, uh, Press, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron and uh, President Joko Widodo has met in the G20 summit. Uh, what uh, both countries have achieved so far? Yes, uh, actually, the, the meeting during the G20 is already uh, the second meeting yeah. uh, since uh, President Macron was elected. I think uh, what is really underlined is that. Uh, uh, we expect that uh, both countries, because both countries are facing uh, the uh, threat of terrorism. Oh. So this is uh, very much underlined. And also, in, uh, of course, in uh, how to enhance the, the relation in economy. This is very important. And uh, in culture. And since then, uh, a lot of our ministries, official for ministries, mm -hmm. From both countries uh, visiting each other to do, to do, uh, or to enhance to make the, the relation has been uh, agreed by both leaders. Your Excellency, uh, in terms of tourism, uh, I think uh, Indonesia might be one of the most country, country that uh, the, the most favorite tourism destination, especially in Europe. What, what, how many friends? Mm, people visit Indonesia every year. Yeah, when I uh, came, uh, first came to uh, France, uh, it was around 
200 tons of PVC emission. And as we understand that the, uh, the government uh, target is uh, 20 million by the end of uh, 2019. Mm. So we try as much as possible to increase this uh, number of tourism. What are the strategic efforts to keep promoting uh, Indonesia to uh, a European uh, country? Yes, the embassy uh, working together with the Indonesian diaspora and also uh, friends uh, from uh, uh, the French community. Well, as I know this as you post here in France, you uh, the. Uh, the, the embassy of Indonesia and friends have held a uh, festival Colorful Indonesia and this is the fourth year, right? Tell me about this festival yourself, Zee. As you know that we have a festival Colorful Indonesia. Festival Colorful Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah, which also consists the diplomatic reception mm -hmm. for the National Day. It's supposed to be 17th of August, yeah. but since nobody here in France... <laughs> because it's still uh, holiday. Everybody in holiday so <laughs> we have uh, the uh, National Day reception every year in September. Mm -hmm. So, and this we blend together with the festival. So, and we will have this in the Pavilion de Fête, which we have for every year. Hopefully also will be next year. And I ask you to join, so okay. you can see the two days festival. There's a bazaar, a lot of culinary, a lot of... Are there any handicraft. musical performances? Musical performance, uh, cultural performance, okay. there's an exhibition of our highly valued uh, uh, arts. So we have exhibition, but it's not only an <laughs> exhibition of uh, things, it's, it's a really a uh, uh, quality, Indonesian style. Indonesia. But as you know, Indonesia has a big pride, so I want to represent Indonesia as the pride of the Indonesian people. I'm sure there are there will be many days where we'll be there. I'm sure I'm going to be there because every year we have increased, increased. We started with 2,500, 3,000, and normally it will be uh, the average of 3,000, so 1,500 per, per day, mostly mm. friends. Mm. But it's not 100,000 because we have select these people who come, it's uh, people who really uh, are already because of our publications and they really want to know about Indonesia. So mm -hmm. this is a more people who start not, not only by passion. Mm -hmm. They they intention to come and to really understand more Indonesia and it turned out to become three thousand something. I would love to go. Yeah, please. I, I'm sure it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for still being with us and now I'm at the Papillon Dauphin in Paris and I'm so privileged that uh, the ambassador would like to take me here to see the annual festival, Festival Colorful Indonesia. Now here with me, His Excellency Kongrat Maraja Panjaitan. Uh, okay, His Excellency, this is a very prestigious place in Paris and annually uh, the uh, the Embassy of Indonesia is uh, uh, held an uh, annual event. It's called Festival Colorful Indonesia. Can you elaborate about this uh, program? Uh, this festival is uh, already for the fourth time uh, since I came four years ago. So this is a festival called Festival uh, Colorful Indonesia, or in French, Festival Couleur d'Indonesie, mm. and. Uh, the concept is that we uh, want to introduce Indonesian culture, Indonesian uh, uh, economic potential, uh, also Indonesian uh, handicraft, Indonesian uh, uh, culinary. Well, actually, what is the big um, message that the embassy wants to send to the uh, French people, the local people, about the culture? Yeah, because Indonesia is. Uh, so 
large, a lot of uh, ethnic groups, as we understand, around uh, 1,000 languages, 600 languages, uh, ethnic groups. So we want to introduce this. Not many people in the in Europe or in France uh, knows that Indonesia is consists of 17,000 islands, uh, eight hours uh, flying time from west to east. <laughs> so we we in this uh, event we try to in explain that to interview. Uh, like so we have a cooking class here. We so what is the purpose of the cooking class? We introduce the Indonesian culinary. Yeah. Like this morning was nasi goreng, now gado gado. Yeah. So. We show it here, so they have the chance to taste Indonesian food and we found that uh, almost all people, everybody likes Indonesian food. So I see there's quite a lot of uh, people, you know, yes. visiting this uh, Papillon Dauphin today. What, what do you think the response from the French? Uh, so our average uh, visitor every year within two days of this festival is around 3,500. Yeah. And mostly uh, locals from French cities or most, uh, especially from Paris. So uh, among these 300, 500, 3,500, maybe 500 Indonesians mm. and 3,000 uh, uh, French people. Why? Because we want to introduce it to the to the French people. So this is why why the the embassy is, is abroad to introduce to the foreign people. But we have our uh, Indonesian community, our diaspora, together with us uh, doing all this. Here we have a bazaar. Uh, we have a stand for uh, handicrafts, batik, handicraft, batik. all by the Indonesian uh, yeah. community diaspora. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, all around. It's around 30 stands. Yeah. Uh, and over there, all the Indonesian culinary foods. And uh, it seems that the French people really, really like Indonesian food. Yeah. <laughs> Your Excellency, uh, so you can sit around. Yeah. As you said before, this is the fourth, uh, the fourth time for the Festival Colorful Indonesia. So, do you think that the French perception about Indonesia, about culture, because we, we are so far away from uh, each other, 16-hour yeah. flights, it's quite a distance, it's quite expensive. What do you want to say to the Indonesian people about uh, fr uh, French and uh, the culture? Yes. So, actually, Indonesia is a big nation. Uh, most of the people all over the world, especially here in Europe, mm. they respect the Indonesian people, mm. they respect our culture, mm. uh, they respect our greatness. Mm. So my message is that we have to be proud of our nation and have to stand tall all the time. So uh, for Indonesian people, what is like, what is life, life like? to be in, uh, in French for Indonesian people? Yeah, I think uh, Indonesian people, once they come here, they need to, first of all, they learn the language. And then after they know the language, they have to understand the, the, the habit, the character, the culture of the French people. So once, once the Indonesian knows or get used with the French uh, uh, custom, culture, and basically the French people are very friendly, especially outside of Paris. Well, Your Excellency, thank you very much for uh, taking me to your uh, festival. This is such a, a pleasantness, it's such a nice experience for me to visit the, the, to visit Paris especially and to talk to you personally. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for having us. I hope to see you again, Your Excellency. See you again.
so very uh, interesting, very nice. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's good, it's very good. We just learned that uh, Indonesia has a lot of islands, uh, 17 million, 17,000 17, islands, island. so it's very diverse. So, uh, and, and the population is uh, quite big. I think it's similar to the United States, but he said no. I think, I don't know how, like it's, it's very, a lot of people live in Indonesia, so Berlin, Germany. Uh, and what about you? Also Berlin. I'm so, yeah. very comfortable okay. in Germany. So how do you know about Indonesia? Uh, well, just from the news. Mm. From the earthquakes or from the tsunamis? Don't believe everything on the news. No, 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 no. no. Okay. <laughs> you don't, don't believe, believe us. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Uh, just and uh, uh, my mother was there once, but uh, very long ago, and uh, it's supposed to be very nice. And uh, I know Bali is very famous, and you saw it on the on the map. And you see it on the map, and actually only a few islands are known here. visit to the residence of uh, His Excellency Hot Mangaraja Pajaitan, the Indonesian ambassador to France. I hope you enjoy our visit today and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.